Imagine raising children in a culture in which gratitude is the first priority. Frida Jacques works at the Onondaga Nation School. She is a clan mother, the school community liaison, and a generous teacher. She explains to me that the Thanksgiving address embodies the Onondaga relationship with the world. Each part of creation is thanked in turn for fulfilling its creator-given duty to the others. It reminds you every day that you have enough, she says, more than enough. Everything needed to sustain life is already here. When we do this every day, it leads us to an outlook of contentment and respect for all of creation. You can't listen to the Thanksgiving address without feeling wealthy. And while expressing gratitude seems innocent enough, it's a revolutionary idea. In a consumer society, contentment is a radical proposition. Recognizing abundance rather than scarcity undermines an economy that thrives by creating unmet desires. Gratitude cultivates an ethic of fullness, but the economy needs emptiness. A Thanksgiving address reminds you that you already have everything you need. Gratitude doesn't send you out shopping to find satisfaction. It comes as a gift rather than a commodity, subverting the foundation of the whole economy. That's good medicine for land and people alike. We put our minds together as 